Ah, Marcus Conti reporting today on my two-year anniversary here on YouTube doing this channel. <laughs> Give myself a hand. Actually, I started this. Um, so I want to just take a scroll down memory lane. I started this uh, project about two years ago. I've been posting on YouTube for a long time, but this was the idea that took off and took seed. So I started as a uh, just a little stroll back. Let's go a stroll back memory lane. Oh, my first, very first, one of my very first posts, right? So um, actually, here's my channel, right? So look, some of the, uh, I got it sorted by oldest first. And you can see they're about two years old. Actually, today, it's February 28th was the first post um, where I was, it started as a whistleblower, right? I was out, I was out to, to rid the city of New York of ticket corruption and not only ticket corruption, but uh, what we discovered as well is uh, black on white racism in city employment. That was a big one. I take a lot of credit for that. I should take a lot of credit for that. Right? It was exposing how whites were discriminated against for being white and how blacks were advanced to the front of the line and that all the laws supported blacks. Am I exaggerating? No, it was for real. So, you know, you can go back and you can look at some of those. I was also exposed some of the um, the lopsided judicial system trying to sue and prove that very point and challenge the city of New York, the the powerful city of New York, about a ticket quota. You think you get thrown under the bus for 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 other things? <laughs> try to try to bring a lawsuit against the city of New York. What else? So I mean, here's some of the. A lot of business owners complain about unwarranted tickets from the New York City Sanitation Department. Um, Our exclusive investigation uncovered what you could call a cash for trash operation. One worker telling us ticket quotas are part of the job. Seven Year Sides Jim Hopper with secret recordings that shed light on what's really going on. Jim? That's, uh, you know, Mika, Mika, uh, MSNBC, right? Um, Morning Joe. That's Morning. Mika, that's this guy right here is uh, is Jim Hoffer's uh, Mika's first husband. Well, the Department of Sanitation denies that they have any ticket quota. A whistleblower, though, says he was fired in part because he complained about one. And he says a recording of his supervisor proves there's a quota and it's all about the money. Oh, damn right. This. When Mark Conti <laughs> graduated as an enforcement officer for the Sanitation Department, he saw himself as a green cop, helping to make New York... As he handsome. Dream. My dream of a green cop. Oh, oh look at it. He says almost from the start... So now you know what I look like without glasses it was on. all about a ticket quota. Generate cash for the city. That's all it else, man. Here's, they expect double digits and they just here's the actual the recordings. Hours. How many hours are there? Eight hours? Should be at least 16 summers. That's how they used to do it to us. That's how we got that number 16. Okay, because my maker is here in Manhattan. What goes on in Queens? So that was me sitting in the uh, in the roll call room as a sanitation cop, exposing corruption. The lieutenant, the good New York City sanitation lieutenant, talking about a ticket quota. Oh shit! How legal? How illegal is that, man? It fucking blew that, blew those jerkies up. And then I went on, you know, down in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Oh, uh, look, no hair. Uh, today, I very little hair. Talk about a little bit of a sensitive uh, subject. That was the first the time. I was breaking my uh, breaking my teeth with some on the street reporting. Of sanitation. It reminds me of what Trump said. Trump said, uh, "No one's going to talk about you, so you might as well talk about yourself." Might be able to see down Third Avenue. There's the Verrazano Bridge. What else, man? Fucking. Okay, here's what you do. When they say you can't prove it, right? Can't prove it, right? Yeah, where's your evidence? You know, you can't prove it, right? What I was doing, I was I was communicating directly with people inside of the DSNY, trying to get more evidence and expose, you know, get them to roll over and uh, join the whistleblowing. So these are some of the videos, very short videos where I was communicating directly to people inside. And, and trying to encourage them to dump, you know, and how to do it, right? So. You just remember, t just remember this, that you're a material witness. If you're an eyewitness to it, 
right? <laughs> what else? Yeah, there's some. I think that he's, he's even still there. Uh, apparently see my he primitive is, uh, studio. No poster. With the Department of Sanitation as the director of enforcement. This is Mr. Michael Burke right here. I was exposing. Look at I was exposing the actual players. This is the. Uh, his face. I mean, it's, it's Burke, kind of boring. Um, Christine Pascal. It's like natives of, I believe, Trinidad. Okay, so they all have. Oh, here's my. This is what they went for. Okay, so so uh, you you move right along and um, you're moving right along and you know and they always said in that class that that uh, oh there is no discrimination there is the African American Hispanic okay okay that they, they all seem to have been see on my the group page. shot I want to show the group there was shot. clearly a racial turn ter, racial tone um, the African American <laughs> as a class here I am. Right, let me see this. I'm up here. Ah, the class shot. Oh. Hispanic, okay. So I was just doing some exposure. This is my... Good morning, Marcus Conti. Former sanitation enforcement agent, philosopher, plaintiff, and Conti versus DSN wives. Ah, something... My favorite shot at the bridge. Good morning, walk proof of life. It's November. Uh so it's been a hell of a trip, right? That's what I was trying to say, you know? And uh, where have I been? Where have I been? There was a stroll down memory lane. So I want to, you know, since then, we've done uh, the Jenny Moore murder mystery. We've done um, the borderline false flags, right? The, you know, Jenny Moore exposing the, the not only the corruption and the, 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 um, how a journalist may have been killed, but may have been killed by her best friend. <laughs> Exposing some of the phonies on YouTube, George Webb and his fucking guys. Huh? Or or uh, the borderline false flag, 12 people shot, only one body accounted for, right? Or Caesar Sayoc, Caesar Sayoc, remember Caesar? Oh, fucking, damn, the Patsy Bomber. Patsy Bomber did the CNN CNN um, story, fucking how they um, how they covered it up, yeah, you know some. So you know where are we, man? Going forward, like we got the election coming up now to 2020. We got Bernie Sanders coming on. We got fucking Trump, right? the age of Trump, the yellow vest coverage. Who's better than that? Who's fucking covering more, giving you more news on the yellow vest than Conti? Like the oligarchy monopolies. Man. So that's all I want to say. I want to thank everybody for uh, for joining me over this last, I mean, half of my one year was a very a smaller idea, exposing corruption and understanding the, the, the depth of which, you know, at a smaller level, understanding the corruption. And then now I'm able to see, you know, uh, advance to the big picture because what was going on on a small level was is actually the same at the higher level. The shh, the hush money, the the way uh, people just fall in line, you know? And uh, do as you're told, do as you're told. Right? So I want to thank, uh, you know, some of the people that were here from the beginning, uh, uh, Pr uh, Sterling Price, Judy Cop. thank you guys, all the people that contributed early on, the whistleblowers, the nameless whistle, faceless whistleblowers inside of DSNY, who helped advance that um, you know project, to all the um, Patreon people here on uh, YouTube now, the people who have done one shot deals, you know, given one <laughs> one time, you know, offerings uh, uh, on uh, PayPal, people who have purchased stickers on eBay. Thank you all. You're, you're floating this, right? You know. And uh, to my friend, one uh, one Mank Ben for the artwork, all this artwork that you see, all these all these imageries, all this imagery that you see is all one Mank Ben did it on the fly, did it on the arm, fucking guy, man. In uh, in England, he's a musician. You could his um, his info is down below in the box. I keep it in there. Thank you so much, man. You know, so uh, the people that comment on a daily basis. You're really the the pulse of this thing because again, this is an uncensored board. I I only delete blatant spam or you know death threats or you know or you know people that feel like they have to 
say the same thing 25 times on the same thread, right? The same post, just copy and pasting. But otherwise, this is an uncensored board, and you wonder why there's so many comments and not a lot of subscribers. But the, the fact is most boards uh, are self-centered. Self-centered. Yeah, they are self-centered, but they're also self-censored, right? So I don't do that. There's none of that shit going on here. So... So as we move forward into the new, the new era, the next era, 2020, the rise of the people, the yellow vest movement, right? What, what, the, what does the future hold? I don't know, but I hope I'm still here. And please, please, pretty please with sugar, right? This is fucking info right here. You see this info? You see this info right here? This is my pay, uh, Patreon. Become a Patreon for $3 a month, right? You know, I mean, you know, we all like to, it's free. Yeah, you can go on YouTube and free and you come here and you can drink my water and eat my grapes and, and comment and insult me and, right, and, and, and insult yourself. But um, really, in, in, in complete honesty, we ha this is, a, this is a, uh, a venture. And for me to do this on a daily basis, two, three times, videos a day, some of these videos, I mean, people, I laugh when people say, Conti, go get a job, get a, get a job, go work. Uh, if you don't think that this is work, you know how many, how many hours of, of research and prep go into, you know, sometimes one video. Sometimes it's just a fly video, but a lot of videos, they take, uh, you know, quite a bit of work to stay on top of the news and, and such. So kindly become a, a, a Patreon for... As little as a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, you know. If you do that and you email me your your snail mail address, I'll send you some stickers. I'm working on getting some free stickers. I got this new uh, new logo uh, on the wall back here, and uh, would like to make. I don't know about t-shirts, but I'm definitely thinking about a hat, <laughs> right? Because I mean, right? I'm known for the hat, right? So we'll make get a hat with uh, like a white, maybe a. Uh, you know, a, a, like a, a Make America Great Again hat, but but with my logo on it. So get uh, get involved, man. Get involved. You know, keep posting. I love the uh, the people that keep posting, and um, that's all for that's all for now. As I think I, I went on too long about this. One. <laughs> Thank you very much on my uh, second anniversary. Today's also my my birthday. I actually posted. Uh, actually, tomorrow's my birthday, but the I actually posted the on my birthday which was the first, you know, that first uh, post back then. So, uh, Marcus Conte reporting. Peace out.